How much froth is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and the current bounty is on screen. Good luck gamers. Oh my god. The Shattered Leagues is soon coming up and I need to AFK splash during the entire league. So I need as much GP as possible. So I'm high alking my bank right now. We now have 15,000 fire strike splashes, but that is not enough for leagues. And we got 58 smithing. All right, we made some money from crafting. Look at this. We now got 176k. After spending all that money, we now have 27k fire strike splashes. I was going to Lism Shamans to make some more money, but Pizza Guy found me on my way over there. And this is the same guy with full ancestrals from the last episode, so I'm a bit spooked. And what do I do when I get spooked? In this case, I packed my Bespoke Post travel bag and went to the gym. And luckily for all of us, Bespoke Post is today's video sponsor. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering boxes of top shelf items from under the radar brands. You can find anything like outdoor equipment, home and kitchen goods, clothing, barware and much more. As of right now I got the travel bag which I just showed you guys and I also got the Ulu knife set which I actually use for whenever I'm cutting frozen meat. So based on your preferences you will get a box assigned to you and before it's shipped you will get a preview of what's to come inside to decide if you like to one keep it or two swap it for a different box or three skip the month entirely for no charge and if you're interested in bespoke post you can get 20% discount off your first box just click the link in the description down below and enter C engineer 20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash C engineer 20 league start now we got 77 magic and 27k mind runes so this is where I'm gonna hang out for the next couple of weeks I think I'm gonna get two magic levels potentially. I'm out of runes after two days of splashing and we are now 79 magic. Alright so I, ha I need to get my strength and attack up. I want to get into the warrior's guild. We're just gonna afk here at the most giants. Here comes the level 63 strength. A very good method to gain prayer experience is by using the RC spellbook to animate giants. 650 prayer experience per giant killed. Who's this? Maxed Debower. <laughs> He's trying, but he doesn't know that this square is a safe zone. Well, now he knows. Way 64 strength at the new location, Ogres. Buried this bone for 49 prayer. We can now use the redemption prayer. And I'm gonna show you guys a throwback of why this prayer is so important for me. This was the greatest tank test of my old PvP hardcore Iron Man. And the only reason why it survived as long as it did is because of the redemption prayer. Another level, 65 strength, 78 combat, 50 prayer, 66 strength. Oh, this is a first, a curved bone first ever seen on this account. 72 hit points, 67 strength, 51 prayer. He's right there waiting. I was watching the CSGO game and he just showed up here. 68 strength, 61 attack, 52 prayer. We can now officially use smite. I don't think I'll ever be using this prayer, but uh, it's been unlocked. There we go, 62 attack, that's the last level, 1400 total. And we got enough stats now to enter the Warriors Guild. I love how sneaky some of the PKers are. Look, he's standing right there. We can now enter the Warriors Guild. All right, this is my favorite upgrade. We can actually buy food here. We can actually buy potatoes. A really good food source, which is very easy. Very close to a bank. I love this. Oh my god, they have been waiting. They have been waiting. How long ago? Uh oh. Wee. Uh oh, oh, oh. Ee, ee, ee. Okay, I just teased the noob. Alright, I'm gonna play it really weird. We're gonna go for one defender at a time. 150 tokens. Okay, first defender. 20 tokens used, all right. During my stay here at the Warriors Guild, I'm gonna get myself 60 defense for the Dragon Defender, and that is 56 defense. Oh, I've been scouted instantly. Your secret is safe with me, he says. I believe him. Okay, what's he doing here? All right, um, I should probably go. 
what the fuck? We are gonna be very happy with one bronze defender for now. During my grind at Moss Giants, we got these mossy keys. And I've been wanting to try out this boss, uh, Brave Fota. And we gotta run through multi right here. And hopefully no one's here. Yeah, good, good, good. This guy, he drops some high alt, which is nice. And some other stuff. Oh, I'm not even using any food. Alright, any good drop? First kill of Brave Fota. It's gonna be a rune square shield. Beautiful. And a task completed, which I don't care about. Second kill of Brifota. Chaos runes. Rune chain body. Blood runes? Okay. Okay. And the fifth and last mossy key for... Adamant plate bodies. That's a lot of high ox. I do like that. Yeah, we made over 100k in high ox from killing this. Decided to take a short break. And we got 6 to 6 thieving. Ugh. Uh, I've been completely broke. Uh, I have legit no nature runes and I need them right now. So we're gonna stock up on that 250. That should be enough for now. Oh Shit Debower. Yeah, that is the Debower. Oh shit. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. If he had been a bit quicker I would have been there. All right. I just realized I do have this giant key so I can kill Ober. I don't really know what the strat is here. So I'm just gonna wing it. I don't think it- oh my god, it hits a lot. Oh, okay, I should have brought like entangles or something, that was harsh. <laughs> that was so bad. What do you even get? We completed a task, we got an installed giant head and some big bone. Was it worth it? Probably not. Would I do it again? 100%. I am actually getting sick of coming to the Seamus as a money maker, so if you guys know any good money makers besides Seamus, let me know. Alright, this is the last shaman kill. We made a solid 70-80k. Whenever I get some spare money, I try to invest it into magic. We still need some upgrades from the magic training arena. So here I am. Oh my. Someone was waiting there. How did he know? A new challenger have arrived. He must have left. Yeah, he left. Oh, he was waiting in the graveyard room. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not doing that anymore. I thought he had left. You can see my investigation cap is on. This is the first time this account have half in front of me. So it makes me think that's his scout. And that's gonna be another defense level, 57. And there we go, 58 defense. I'm so used to the boosted drop rates for the defender on leagues and on deadman mode. So now that I'm playing it on an Iron Man, it's actually an awful grind, I must say. But so far, no peeker have shown up in 45 minutes. Maybe because it's 7 a.m. No one is used to me being online this early. Okay, a long bone. All right, another successful trip to the Seamus and we made over 100k this time. Very nice. Fuck. I bought the wrong runes. I accidentally bought blood runes instead of nature runes. I'm so dumb. In the moment of stress, I do stuff like that. And I don't know why I'm even stressed. No one's here. And here is 58 fletching. I can now make emerald tipped metal bolts. The poisonous bolts. It's definitely gonna come in handy. The question is where? I think these are gonna be useful in case someone attacks me and I can fight back and poison them. And there we have it, 59 defense. Uh oh. Wait, he didn't attack me, but he showed up here. And he TB'd me. Stay out. 73 hit points, I forgot about that level coming up. So as you all know, we have changed the rule on this account. We are only doing private on weekends. But for some reason, I've had private on for the entire episode. It's been like three weeks with private on. So I've been pretty much spoiling the hunters with this much private on. And that's the reason why it's been so active. Maybe, just maybe next episode, I'll bring back the private on weekends, private off weekdays. Okay, I've started to like this money maker. Make mithril square shields, high alt them for 900 GP, and then repeat, just make mithril bars. Plenty of mining experience, plenty of smithing experience, plenty of magic experience. 59 smithing. Daily sand collection. Thank you, Bert. And we got 250 more nature runes. Beautiful. There we go, 60 defense. I think that's gonna be the last level here at Augurs. We got 82 combat now as well. I'm a bit sad that I have to leave up this bot now because I'm gonna upload this video, I can never come back. This bot have given me so many Snapdragon seeds, Rainer seeds, so much free experience. I've just been almost AFK here. 
I now have to find a new spot. Okay, I have an idea, but I don't know if it's gonna work, and I don't know if someone's camping there. But we have 60 defense. With 60 defense, we can wear we can wear the obsidian shield. And I could sell death runes. I could sell my chaos runes and buy myself an obsidian shield. But I don't know if I have the balls. There's so many hunters around. Sell it, buy the shield, and we're good to go. Oh my god, 55k. We still need some tackles. Alright, I sold some more. I think this should be enough. Before anyone shows up, I'm, I'm scared of being here. There we go. Obsidian shield have been unlocked. Beautiful. Let's go to the bank and look at the stats. Let's have a look here. From 56 melee strength bonus to 61 plus 5 strength. This is a great replacement for the dragon defender for now. We still need to get that dragon defender. It's so much better. But for now, this will do. And that is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. We got ourselves an obby shield. We got ourselves 14 and 9 total level and... 82 combat that is a lot of combat levels in this one episode and we're just gonna keep pumping the combat level up and if you did enjoy this video remember thumbs up and i'll see you guys hopefully within one maybe two weeks see you soon bye and the bounty have increased by 45 mil putting the bounty at 8 billion and 100 million yeah i need to stop taking donations this is getting out of hand